There um, is, has been interest from both Lyme and Bird and Via Ride. The city of Fayetteville is about to become more mobile. Rules state that you can't block a sidewalk, you can't block, block access to a building, you can't impede uh, ADA access, um, you can't block trails. In April, the Arkansas General Assembly passed Act 1015, which created the Electric Motorized Scooter Act. It authorizes the distribution of electric motorized scooters and scooter share programs throughout the state. Before the law goes into effect July 24th, city officials are drafting an ordinance proposal for local regulation. A scooter can be ridden basically anywhere a bicycle can be ridden in a bike lane, on a trail, uh, in the street. In September 2018, Fayetteville introduced the first stationless bike share program in northwest Arkansas. Now, vandalism has been an issue for VO Ride, but extra security will hopefully cut down on that for e scooters. We're trying to put um, some video cameras up in places to try and do better monitoring on problem areas. The proposed ordinance allows for up to 1,000 e scooters, each limited to a speed of 15 miles an hour. I like the fact that you just, you know, quickly pay for it and jump on and get to where you're going. Well, it's Especially you know, for a college town where everybody's walking around anyways, might as well have something that they can get transport and not just a bus system. Yeah, it's a great idea. Save the environment, man. E-scooter operators would be able to implement no ride in slow ride zones to govern down the speed of how fast a scooter can operate in certain areas. As much as uh, we can encourage um, those types of technology solutions that help people um, have access to different choices um, so that they can get out of their cars. We're supportive of that, but what we want to make sure is that we've got the proper rules in place. The ordinance will go before the Fayetteville City Council on Tuesday. In Fayetteville, Kelly O'Neill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.